Hey Unboxers, Jamie here. Samsung had a stellar 2017 with the release of the gorgeous Infinity Display equipped S series of smartphones, the device that we crowned our flagship of the year, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Not to mention a ton of noteworthy entrants to the mid-range segment as well. Just before we all went on holiday break, Samsung announced the newest members of their A series of smartphones, the Samsung Galaxy A8 and the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus and we managed to get our hands on them before their Philippine release, so we can kick off the new year with these two devices. Will it be straight A's for Samsung to kick off 2018, or will it be an A for effort? Let's find out in this full review for the Samsung Galaxy A8 and the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus. In the hierarchy of Samsung devices, the A-Series sit in between the mid-range J devices and their flagship S-Series of smartphones. The Galaxy A-Series always had premium looks that offered a little bit more oomph under the hood than its mid-range siblings. This year is definitely no different for the A8 and A8 Plus. Both feature a metal frame and a glass back that make it resemble the Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, and even the Note 8, complete with IP68 certification for water and dust resistance. They of course have one glaring difference from their flagship brethren, the lack of Samsung's Infinity Display. You're still getting Super AMOLED panels at the 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio that measures in at 5.6 inches for the Galaxy A8 and 6 inches for the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus, but they don't curve out to meet the frame of the phone, making the device handle slightly like the LG G6. Suffice to say, the smaller dimensions of the Galaxy A8 may favor those with smaller hands, but the allure of the 6-inch display of the A8 Plus is definitely there too. Unfortunately, the glass panels on the back make it a bit of a fingerprint magnet and will need the occasional wipe down, though Samsung will be including a free clear cover with every purchase of the device that will help in that aspect. Since we've sprung a full review of these two devices on you guys, it's best that we do a quick tour for its button and port layout before talking about their displays. On the right of the device are the power button and the lone speaker right above it. On the left, you have the volume rocker and access to the SIM 1 slot. On top of the A8 and A8 Plus are a microphone and access to the second SIM slot plus micro SD expansion. Lastly, on the bottom is where you'll find the USB Type-C port and a 3.5mm headphone jack. There's really nothing to complain about Samsung's Super AMOLED panels. They've always provided a great experience for either browsing the web, your social media feeds, and even for binge-watching shows on your mobile device. This remains true with both the A8 and A8 Plus. You have the same awesome color saturation and deep blacks that really makes a difference when consuming content on your phone. Even though they don't have the signature curves of Samsung's Infinity Display, these panels still get two thumbs up. On top of the display sit the dual front cameras of the A8 and A8 Plus, which consist of a 16 megapixel main camera at f1.9, plus a secondary 8 megapixel camera at the same aperture, with live focus enabled for that artificial shallow depth of field. We'll talk about the camera performance for the devices in a bit. Audio is equally important for enjoying your content and we're happy to report that the speakers on the side of the A8 and A8 Plus do a pretty good job but could use a bit more bass to really round out the sound. The speaker can get pretty loud, but it's probably best to keep it at 80% to avoid distortion. Due to its unconventional placement, you'll also want to mind where you put your forefinger when in landscape mode so you don't end up covering it. At the core of the Samsung Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus is Samsung's homegrown Exynos 7885 octa-core processor that clocks in at 2.2GHz. The Samsung Galaxy comes with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage, while the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus has a little bit more oomph with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Both devices are good for day-to-day -day tasks and getting some work done, but you'll definitely be multitasking a little bit better on the A8 Plus due to the slight bump up in RAM. In terms of gaming, the two A-series devices can handle titles like NBA 2K17 or Shadow Fight 3, but you'll have to bump down the settings to be able to get the smoothest frame rates possible. The Samsung Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus run on Android Nougat out of the box with Samsung Experience UI on top of it. If you're familiar with the Korean company's take on the Android ecosystem, then you should definitely feel right at home. You're also getting Bixby with the new A-series devices, although it's been limited to Bixby Home, Bixby Vision, and Bixby Reminders. As mentioned earlier, you're getting a 16-megapixel camera on the back of the device with an aperture of f1.7. 
it definitely doesn't get the same quality as Samsung flagship devices, but it's a noticeable step up from their mid-range offerings. The rear camera captures really sharp details with great natural colors, and the aperture provides a good depth of field while really helping out with getting photos in low-light situations. The front cameras do a bang-up job as well. Obviously, you're getting better results if you're lit properly, but the results in low-light conditions aren't that bad either. Since you do have dual front cameras, Samsung's live focus is there to help get that artificial shallow depth of field, which has one of the better implementations of getting the bokeh effect. If you're feeling a little playful, Samsung's stickers also make an appearance with this device so you can send friends and loved ones pretty silly selfies. Powering the Samsung Galaxy A8 is a 3000mAh battery while the A8 Plus gets a little bit more juice with a 3500mAh battery. Both devices clock in decent times using PC Mark's battery benchmarks, which translates to about a day to a day and a half worth of power depending on your mileage. Both devices also have support for fast charging to have you up and about faster when you do have to top them up. The Samsung Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus are a huge step up from last year's A series of smartphones. You're getting decent performance, great battery life, and pretty awesome snaps with its cameras too. Not to mention, all that hardware is wrapped up as if these devices were of flagship caliber. You may not be getting Samsung's Infinity displays, but they do have to separate the two lineups somehow, and you're still getting the excellent panels that Samsung has been known for. Unfortunately, the Korean company is asking a premium for these devices as well. The Samsung Galaxy A8 has been priced at 26,990 pesos, and the Galaxy A8 Plus has been given a price tag of 32,990 pesos, which really puts these two devices in a pretty tough spot. We can easily see consumers possibly saving a little extra to jump to the S series of smartphones or looking at other competing contenders in the market. The timing could be a little off for these two devices as well since the Samsung Galaxy S9 is rumored to be coming out within the first quarter of the year. And that's pretty much it for our full review for the Samsung Galaxy A8 and the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. If you have any questions for the two devices, make sure you hit us up in the comment section down below, and we'll try to get to them as soon as we can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews from the Philippines, head to Unbox.ph and visit us on Facebook as well. This is Jamie, and I'll see you next time.